Here's the top five things that I've learned from managing an Airbnb portfolio worth over six million pounds. My name is Dave Cordner and I'm the founder of Centre Belfast Apartments. We're an Airbnb management company based in Belfast. I've been operating Airbnbs for about 15 years. We've hosted tens and tens of thousands of guests. At present, we manage around 60 properties, but probably we've had around 100 through our books. So I've been at this for a while. I've seen a lot of things and I've built up considerable experience. So here's my top five things that I've learned. Number one is the importance of the property. It is the most important thing. After all, it's the thing you're selling. It's the thing that guests are booking and staying in. You have to make absolutely sure that this property that you're bringing to the Airbnb market is the right one. It has to be in a great location that's going to be in demand, one that guests, when they arrive and arrive at the property and check in, they're going to be happy with. It needs to be convenient for them, close to things that they're going to want to see in your area. Inside the property has to be kitted out to be really super desirable. You have to spend money, invest in money in the property to make it desirable for guests. So that might mean new kitchen, new bathrooms, and you have to fit it out with all the good stuff inside as well. Get a washing machine, a dishwasher. Can you put some extra bits and pieces in there? They're gonna make the property more desirable for guests because they're gonna leave a better review. Number two is not to just rely on Airbnb. There are lots of other booking sites out there. Everyone who's renting out a space at all is gonna be on Airbnb. It's a really crowded marketplace and it's easy to get overlooked when you're there. There's so much competition. My pick of the other booking sites is booking.com. It is a beast. It gets guests and bookings from all over the place. You have to get your property on there. But also you need to be chasing direct bookings. These booking sites, they charge a commission and it's not cheap, it all adds up. But if you can convert bookings to direct or get people to just make bookings with you via your own website, then that's definitely the thing you need to be doing. Number three is that it's so important how you treat your guests. People come into Airbnb thinking it's a quick way to make some extra cash, passive income, it is not. It's a hospitality business. Guests are coming, they have high expectations, they've often paid a lot of money to come and stay in your place. Getting the booking is not when the work is over and you've done your job. Getting the booking is when your work starts. Guests are gonna have tons of questions before their stay, during their stay. You need to be quick to respond. You need to answer them with the answers that they want. If they're asking you for things, you need to be able to bring it to them. They can be very demanding um, and it's tough at times to respond to that in a way. You know, you've got your other things going on. You might have a job and this is a side hustle, but it's so, so important that you treat these guests very, very well because they will leave reviews at the end. And in Airbnb, you're always looking for your next booking. You don't just sell this place once as if you're getting tenants in or you're selling the property. You're selling a holiday, an experience, and you need to keep selling it day after day, week after week. As I say, everyone leaves a review and everyone who's gonna book your place will read those reviews. So if you treat your guests well, you're gonna have amazing reviews and people are going to want to stay in your property because they know they're gonna get good customer service. If you don't treat your guests well or if they have a bad experience and they leave a negative review, other potential guests are gonna read those reviews and they might overlook your place. Number four is about systemizing everything as much as possible. So there is a lot of moving parts in an Airbnb business. You need to do your pricing, your cleaning, maintenance, guest communication. There are so many things that can just eat up your time and it can become a 24 seven job. Your phone can be going at all hours and you really need to systemize and automate as much as possible so that it doesn't take over your life. And you can do it. It's not easy, but it is straightforward to do and you have to just chip away, do one bit at a time. Because one thing that I always see that people who are running Airbnbs don't consider is the value of their own time. Yes, you might be able to clean the property in two hours, but that's two hours of your time. It's not free. Your time costs money. In my opinion, it is so much better to pay a housekeeper or a cleaner to come in and clean the property for you. You then have those two hours to yourself that you can use to work on the business, generating more bookings, keeping your guests happy. That is a much better use of your time. And number five is that you really need to protect your property. There are lots of people who use Airbnb who are just not nice people. They want to come, party in the place, wreck it, get up to all sorts of stuff in your place that you do not want to happen. And these people exist. And I think when people get started in Airbnb, they can be a bit naive. They think everyone that's gonna book their place is gonna be nice and lovely and will treat it with respect. And reality is, most people do, but there are a significant minority of people who won't. And you need to be streetwise. You need to be 
on the lookout for these people, looking for red flags when bookings come in to try and stop them at source. The key here is to not let the booking in. Once they're in and they're causing damage, it's too late. You need to stop the booking at source. Do not let them into your property. Those are my five top tips for Airbnb. Have I missed anything? Is there anything in there that you have learned in your journey that you think people should know about? Leave me a comment and let me know. If you've got value from this, please hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. And if there's anything else you want to know about Airbnb, click the link below, book a strategy call, or leave me a comment and I'll do some more content on it.